Okay, so today is going to be the video where I open up all of my winter sewing jugs. There's quite a few that I'm not sure did very well, and I think I know why, and I'm going to divulge what I did differently this year as opposed to last year. Last year, I'll throw up a picture, pretty epic first time. That was the first time I'd ever winter sewn, and I did amazingly this year it i mean the weather was up and down up and down i don't know it could have been the weather or it could have been what i did differently i think it was partly what i did differently so there are a few things that i think are probably duds i have quite a lot so here they all are <laughs> and i've actually opened up five or six of them some of the swiss chards and stuff i've already planted uh, i planted some brussels sprouts but there's some stuff that like it's already gone to seed inside. You're not really supposed to let stuff get this big. This is, I think, broccoli or something that's gone to seed. But I'm going to, because I have so many, what I'm going to do is I'm going to open them all up and then I will put them into categories and then we'll talk about them that way. I think that's how this is going to go. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to just get to opening these and we'll go from there. That, that didn't take long at all. <laughs> not. I probably took uh, over an hour to untape. I have like over a hundred jugs behind me of all different kinds of stuff. This year I winter sewed anything and everything. I winter sewed tomatoes and peppers for the first time. I winter sewed gourds for the first time. I winter sewed a ton of different flowers. I winter sewed olive. Shh. I went or sewed cabbages, just anything just to see if I could win or sew it. It's with anything with gardening, you win some and you lose some. There's ups and there's downs. And last year, I think I went or sewed maybe 18 jugs. And I had, I think, two or three jugs that did really badly or I got nothing from. This year, oh gosh, there's a whole lot more. Would you be quiet? Oh. This year, there's a whole lot more failure. Oh, look at all those. <laughs> so I'm gonna go over what did well um, and what didn't. I feel like I only have myself to blame. Um, I think one of the main reasons why a lot of these didn't do very well is because I used garden soil. I did not use potting mix or potting soil, which I did last year, just straight up potting soil and everything, most things did really, really well. So I think that seeds, so I think seeds have a hard time trying to germinate in garden soil in this type of setting. So I think it's much better if you start in potting soil. So I'll put that out there that I think some of this was just my, my doing. And also there's some stuff that did really well and then I didn't get it out of the containers in enough time because our weather has been like bipolar here in northeastern West Virginia. This is where I'm winter sowing. So it's like zone 7A, 6B, I'm like somewhere around there. My um, last frost date is I think beginning of May. I just looked it up the other day. So another problem was that stuff did really well and then it was like uh, um, cold weather crops and I didn't actually take it out of the jugs and plant it while it was still cold. And like I was saying, our our temperatures have been kind of bipolar like it will be like in the 20s one day and then the very next day it's up in the 80s so having something germinate and then do really well and then it hit a temperature of like 80 degrees it's gonna burn up and I'll show you some of those too so well I'm now I'm gonna give you a tour of what I've got behind me here it's a lot more than last year so uh, this could be a bit of a longer video <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna get started with what I cold started. Now I did have some jugs, I'll throw up some pictures of those, of kales and Swiss chards and uh, Brussels sprouts. I planted those, but this is some of the stuff that I set aside and I was like, I'm gonna plant it. And no, I didn't. So as you can see, some of it was coming up out of the top of the container here, these, and it went to seed. So I opened it up and kind of pulled those out. Same with these. So this one here is, what was this? This is baby baby bok choy, baby cabbage choy. This one is, and as you can see, like this sprouted and then like burnt up. Rapini, broccoli rapini. This one still looks, you know, like you could probably eat 
the tops of these and they'd be kind of yummy. But this is tatsui mustard. All of these are different kinds of cabbages that did not get planted. This one is a red cabbage. This one is a cauliflower, but you can see it did well. It sprouted and then it burned up in the heat. This one did well. Danish ball head cabbage, like maybe that one, but it's it's too hot to plant that stuff now. This one, look, you know, I could probably eat the, these leaves. Uh, this is Romanesco broccoli. But, so those are all like the cold. And then this one here, I'm still, I think I'm still gonna try to plant these. This is Brussels sprouts, just straight up Brussels sprouts. All right, moving along, I also tried for the first time winter sowing carrots and as you can see those did really well so i'm gonna see if i can transplant these into a bed and see if i get any carrots and then the one kale that i missed that i winter sowed and didn't plant was this one here black magic kale so i can still plant the carrots and the kale up and then to the left of that i was pretty surprised that uh these did as well as they did now this one looks a little burnt like it got too hot but these are the gourds that I um, winter sowed. So this one was bushel gourd. So two of those germinated. This one looks like it's gonna be massive. I hope it pulls through. It looks like it could. It's got some new growth right there in the center. This one was, again, got, got a little burnt. I don't, this is, this is, I think this is a weed. I'm not sure what this is. But this is the gourd right here. And this one was in a mixed bag of different gourds. So I don't actually know what kind this is or if it'll be okay, but we'll see. And this is boulet gourd, so I got one of those. This, again, oh, this one looks really rough. I don't know about this one, but this one looks good. This is the African drum gourd. So that's pretty cool that those actually germinated. I wasn't sure. This one is the Martin House gourd. So there was one that I was excited about that did not germinate. It's over in the pile of all of those. The mini bottle gourd, I'll throw a picture up of that, but it didn't germinate. Now, all the stuff that did not do well, I'm gonna make a list of, and I'm going to re-sow them in just pots and try to, instead of winter sowing, just germinate them myself now that the weather's decent enough that I could do that. All right, coming over here, I've got some random stuff. All kinds of things that just winter sowed. Some did really well, some did eh. Uh, this was milk thistle, and it looks like it's doing really well. Lemon mint did really well. I don't know if I'd have this mint already. I had two types of parsley that I went or sowed that did good. Green pearl parsley, and then moss curled parsley. This one here is forgotten heirlooms rhubarb, which that did magnificent. I think I, I sowed... Uh, I think every single one of them came up. I don't know what I'm going to do with all that rhubarb. Maybe gift some to people because I don't think I need that much. But this here, I'm not sure if this is actually bergamot, lemon bergamot, or if those are weeds. Uh, they look kind of the same. <laughs> I'm not really sure. But I'm going to just let it grow a little bit more. And I'll probably re-sow seeds for this anyways. Because it didn't do so great. And I want some bergamot. Uh, I love the smell of it. This is some sort of lettuce that did really well. Did I even label it? I don't even see it. See a tag? Yeah, here it is. Okay. This is Merlot lettuce. Is that not gorgeous? Oh my gosh, it's gorgeous. It did really well in this container. So I'm going to try to, uh, I don't know, transplant that. We'll see. Then we have milkweed, red. So, got a few of those. You can see the stems of them are, are red, which is kind of cool. And then I did successfully under sow some leeks. So I'll see if I can transplant those. This is King Richard leeks. Uh, this here was my uh, pigeon pea. I'm, I guess that's what this one is. It didn't do so great, so I'm actually gonna re-sow um, I have a few more seeds and I'm gonna try again. Uh, wormwood. Wormwood did pretty good. And this is celery pascal, 
which is pretty cool. I'm going to try to um, transplant some of these and grow some celery. This is Red Long of Tropia Onion. It did pretty good. I could try to transplant those. Um, again, another kind of rhubarb that did really, really well. So winter sowing rhubarb is, is uh, really good. <laughs> so this is Paragon rhubarb. All right, let's come back here. So I tried to winter sow some things and I just did a couple of bags because I've never done it before, but I winter sowed some basil. This one is, what is this one? Uh, red Reuben basil, which it did pretty good. And with a bag that was like all like, like this the whole time and I would just lift it open every once in a while. Didn't do too, too bad. There is some basil in there. This is, um, did not do so great. Siam queen basil. So I'm going to re -sow seeds for that one. But I think I got like one, one little sprout there. Maybe two. There's, oh, there's a couple more. Maybe it's just slow to the party. Yeah. Okay. Same for this one. This definitely is just one. So this one is licorice basil. So there's. My, my one little licorice basil sprout there. This one is black granite basil with, I think, um, some giant weeds in it. So this is not black granite, but these are the basils. So it did okay. Um, mammoth basil, one. So there's mammoth basil. Mammoth basil, one little sprout there in the corner. Uh, this one is Chinese sweet basil. So I think that's one of them. And then that's one of them right there, definitely. But Chinese sweet basil. And then the last basil was sweet Danny basil. So it did pretty good. It looked like it all got washed up into a corner there. So. All right, what do I want to show you now? Okay, so the rest is pretty much flowers. This is all flowers, and that in the back is all flowers. Okay, so we'll just get started here. I think that's one of these blue balloon flower. I'm not quite sure what they're supposed to look like, but there's a couple of... Uh, things popping up here, so I'm just gonna wait and see. Same for this. I don't know if this is a weed or borage. Can somebody tell me? Is that what borage looks like, or is that just a giant weed and I was a failure of borage? I will re sow seeds for borage. I have another kind of borage that I just acquired seeds for, and I'm gonna start seeds for that. This is oh, this is a question mark. I don't know what that is, but we'll plant it and find out eventually, hopefully. This is a giant weed. This is right here. But the rest of this is Crim de Casis Hollyhock. Oh, those are pretty. So I got one, two, three, four, five, six, six of those. That's nice. Uh, this is Mixed Colors Lace Flowers. So that did pretty good. Nice. This is just now starting to germinate just a little bit. This is Apricot Sprite Agastache. So there's a few little sprouts in there. Um, Dandy Improved Dahlia. I'm really trying to grow a bunch of different kinds of dahlias that I don't have. Um, so there's a couple there. Jet Black Hollyhock. Oh, I'm super excited about this. I'm so glad it germinated, but look, it's starting to get burnt. Or the temperature dropped really low. It could have germinated and then got frostbit. I don't know exactly, but. Let's see here. My back is killing me. Oh, this is not conducive to my back. This is Strawberry Fields Comfrina. Oh, shoot. Broke. Some of these tags are old, so they're getting brittle. Um, so there's a few of those. Red Flint Aggeration. That did pretty well. I got three of the Jolly Jester Marigolds, so that's awesome. I got two of the apricot lemonade cosmos and one of the king size apricot aster. All right, let's get some of this stuff out of the way. 
All right, so I got a few of these coming up. Black Magic Cosmos, which I'm super excited about those. I'll probably sew some more of the things that I didn't get a whole lot of. Asano Ganyanka Stocks. I got one. One of those. It looks like it's getting kind of smushed because it's over in the corner there. Uh, this did pretty well. This was Blue Disc African Daisy. What's in this one? This one did really well. It was like popping out of the top. This one is Gant Gaz 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 Gazania Mixed Colors. So that's neat. Never grown those before. This one is a blue spice basil. This needs to go over with the rest of the basils here. Ooh, broke that tag too. Ah, this one's cool. Sunflower Topolino. Look how well that did. I had someone gift me some of these seeds or I traded for them. And they did so well. I'm so excited. Uh, this one's Chamomile's Lottie Lawn. So I grew a couple of different kinds of chamomile. This one did pretty good. It's so cool to just put seeds in a jug and then tape it up and walk away from it. And then when you open it, you got all kinds of fun stuff. Uh, this is Pacific Beauty Calendula. So this one looks like it either got frostbit or burnt. I'm not sure. I don't know if they'll kind of come back, but I'll just re-sow seeds for it. This was Nicosia Crimson Better. So that did really well. Oh, broke the tag for that. I got two of the Redmond Super Cactus Zinnia. And then the Oriental Lantern. Oh, I'm so excited for this one. Oriental Lantern Snapdragon. I'm going to throw a picture up of what that looks like. That's so awesome. All right, so this was some sort of marigold. What was this in this bag? Steve's marigold. So I planted some of Steve's marigold. Like I said, I didn't do too hot with these bags but I got one one germinated now if we start some more seeds this is Lobella Crystal Palace so that did pretty good just getting going I got one what is this one Alaskan Nasturtium I got one a more salmon salvia and I got a few of Heather Queen Agastache so that's pretty cool back here to this pile of flowers all right, so I got what appears to be one of the Queenie Lemon Peach Zinnia. Queenie Lemon Peach Zinnia, just one there. There might be another one trying to pop up. This is, ooh, two really cool nasturtiums. Pretty far along. Bloody Mary nasturtium. Oh, Bloody Mary nasturtium, yes. This one did really well. Black Trumpet. What is this? Sapula salpiglosis? Uh, don't know if I pronounced that right. This is a snapdragon. I can tell just by the looks of it. Which one is this? Yes, cherry twist snapdragon. Oh, I'm so excited. These did, did so well. Here's another one. This one is orange wonder snapdragon. I love snapdragons. I love snapdragons and I love hollyhocks. This is... Pink Senorita Zinnia. I love Zinnias too. <laughs> oh, goodness. Keep saying you love everything, Jen. Nobody's going to believe you. Okay. This is Swan Lake Salvia. So I got one of those, I think, that looks like a salvia. Uh, ah, look at this. French Hollyhock. That, that's kind of wild. That's like ready to be put in the ground. This is, oh, I'm so excited. One of these germinated green twister. Yes. Is this another one? I think it is. Look, there's another one. Oh, sweet. At least got two green twisters. And um, green twister is an echinacea. It's just so pretty one. I'll throw a picture up of it. But once you have like one and you get it established after a couple of years, two, three years, you can um, split them and continue to split them every year. I have some really pretty ones up in the front of my house and I keep splitting them. They're like orange, really pretty bright orange. All right, what is this bad one here? Bad boy here is like going out of frosted salmon poppy. That obviously did really well. <laughs> Busting out of the container here. All right, Ruby Eclipse Sunflower did really well. Oh, so cool. I didn't know. So I'm gonna see, I don't know how well sunflowers will transplant, but we're gonna try it out. 
Okay, so this is pom-pom mix dahlia. So I got a few of those. There's one, two, um, that's a weed, I think. That might be one, or it might be a weed, but I know these two are. And let's see here. This one is, where's the tag? Orange King Calendula. So there's Orange King Calendula. I got one, two, three, four, four. And then this is just a piece of grass. A couple more jokes here that did well. Rudbeckia Sahara. It, this is just now starting to do something. So there's a few right here. And then this one here is Coral Zinnias. So I got a few of those. So one, two, three Coral Zinnias. Did I do these? I don't remember. Yeah, Bloody Mary ended. Yeah, Queenie Lemon. Okay, so on to the failures. So these weren't failures. Uh, they either just froze or burnt up in the heat. One of the two, because I kid you not, it was like in the 20s one day, and then the very following day it was 80 degrees. So this one was, let's see here, I'll get it over here which I'm bummed about, but I'm gonna re-sow seeds. Black peony poppy, which these look like they're trying to do something. There's a few in there that aren't quite fried up. Then there was, this one is black boy bachelor's button, which again, there's a few, I mean, they look eh, but if I would uh, put them in the ground somewhere, they might perk back up, I don't know. And this one here looks really rough. This is black swan pop. Did I just say that black swan poppy? Poppy, did I do that twice? Oh no, that's peony. So I did a lot of different black flowers because I wanted to do like a black garden with all kinds of black things in it. But this is black swan poppy and it looks like it either burned up or froze, I don't know. It's kind of burned. And then there was a bunch of other stuff that just did not do well. Um, there was dahlias, straw flowers. Uh, I guess I'll just go through everything that didn't do well. I use these ice cream containers. Blue scotch curled kale, that didn't do well. This is Unwin's dwarf mix, didn't do well. Copper red straw flower. Tosano Medinotto. Uh, this is my tomato, blood gulch. That didn't germinate at all. There was a tomato that germinated and then it looked like it froze. So, uh, this is Comfrina. Uh, Comfrina, mandarin orange, nothing there. Lime basil, nothing there, which I have planted this again. And I'm thinking something's up with the seeds because it's not doing very well. Um, with the new planting either. Uh, this one, horse heel. I didn't get anything out of there yet. Now, I'm not going to just dump these out just yet. I'm going to leave them in the sun. Cinnamon basil, same. I'm going to leave them in the rain and sun and see if anything does. Oh, this one. This jug's purple red straw flower. Patio key lime basil. Um, jumbo stuffed sweet pepper. Got nothing out of there except a weed. This is a uh, super heavyweight pepper. So the peppers did nothing yet. <laughs> so, uh, I'm thinking peppers in winter sowing. I mean, I'll probably try again, but it just doesn't look like it's the greatest way to germinate peppers. This is celery. Uh, I don't know if that's some right there in the corner or if that's just a weed. Uh, Alto red stocks, Chanter Alto red stocks. Looks like it germinated and then it got fried. Um, Cosmos Velvote, Velote, Velouette. That might be one, or it's a weed, I'm not sure. This up here is Orange Marigold, nothing. That's a weed. This was Wine Jug. Uh, so there it is. There was Wine Jug. You can see the little furry roots on the stem there. This was the tomato, and then it died. Uh, miniature bottle gourd. That's the gourd that I was telling you, like, it hadn't done anything yet. I'm kind of bummed, so I'm going to retry sowing seeds for that. 
This is Pacific Giant Delphinium. Still unsuccessful with the Delphinium. <laughs> Just keep trying. Lemon basil, nothing. Um, this was question mark seeds. Something germinated. It kind of looks like a tomato, but I don't know. It looks like a tomato that's not doing well, so. Hi, basil, nothing. Um, so easy cauliflower. Those seeds were kind of old, so. And then last one was this mixed giant zinnia. Nothing there. Well, that might be one right there, but it doesn't look so good. Whew. So now I need to go get a, my notebook and make a list of all the things that I want to re -sow seeds for and get out. I have a, oh my gosh, my back. Oh. This is a lot of bending over. So I have a lot of, uh, I have a, a manila envelope where I actually just put, as I was winter sowing, because I winter sowed these at different times. I didn't winter sow them all at the same time. There was like, I think, a three week period where it's winter sowing every weekend. But I have um, an, a manila envelope with all the seeds that I winter sowed in that manila envelope. That way, if I needed to re-sow them, they were just all in one place. So I'm gonna get those out, pick out the ones that I need to re-sow, and that's what I'll be doing tomorrow. But I hope you liked this winter sowing reveal. This is my second year winter sowing and I'm still feeling pretty good about it. Like, um, I think I messed up with the, the dirt. I think I needed to use potty mix and I used garden soil just because it's what was had extra of it. And I thought, well, I'll just use this, but next year I'll definitely use potting soil. But I hope you enjoyed the um, winter sowing reveal for this year. It's a little bit bigger than last year, but it's it, it was fun, fun to do. So I will see you in the next one. Enjoy your day.